Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. Meanwhile, somebody is there who has 70,000 in the bank and is looking for 200,000. Can I shock you? If you can come down and destroy this poverty mentality that is troubling you, because that is what is troubling you, you want to put your hand where your hand cannot get to. There are little, little things around us that can create wealth. Am I communicating? Little, little things around us. But pride and this mentality is troubling you. You are looking, who are you without money? What are you? Who, who reckons with you? Friend, listen, let, listen to me. Nobody minds you with what you are wearing. What speaks is money. If you like, go and buy a shoe of 100,000. You will match it on the ground. But is that what he's speaking now? No. Can you afford, can you live comfortably? Nobody minds you. Therefore, you got to develop a different, you see, my prayer tonight is that this yoke be broken off your life. Because if we succeed in stopping you from borrowing from tonight and live a free life, manage the little you can you have. Are you here? If you cannot buy new things, new shit, there is another side of boutique. You are laughing. I go. I, I, it, it was that was how I enter into dressing. I enter into knowing how to dress by buying those clothes. Go to Lagos and go and buy secondhand clothes, secondhand trousers, secondhand blouse, secondhand skates. Match them. Match the shirt and the trouser, and my wife will be carrying long tummy and be selling them. And I will be wearing some. When I dress like this, I look cute. Is it sounding that I'm second hand? No, is he calling you that I'm second hand? There are some of you wearing second hand right now. If you cannot afford that one, where would you go and? Now, listen to me. The worst thing you can do to yourself is to buy clothes on credit. That is the service to your personality. Because when you buy it, the moment you wear it once, the zeal, everything, the excitement is gone. Then you are left with payment. The clothes will be there. Even the joy to wear it is not in you because... You may wear it and suddenly you stumble into the person that you are owing. No, tell me, you are owing me 20,000. And now I, I see a shoe of 15,000 on your leg. I go hold you. Even though we come church, as soon as you come out there, you will pay. Whoever gave to you, I don't care. If you can wear that. But that is the yoke on people's lives. Stand to your feet. (laughs) 
listen if you cannot afford uh, what do you call it um, is it what do you call it we vaughn <laughs> man bond okay if you cannot afford whether bond strength or be whatever because I don't know what it is you cannot afford it friend get the one you can afford so far you clean it you take and cover or you go to a barber and say cut this hair is creating problem for me and the barber will design your hair a low cut you look beautiful than killing yourself listen to me it is an error you know what your husband is earning and you know what you are earning and you are going to buy a hair of 120,000 you are, you are wasting money it's only one oh, you are wasting money those who can afford it can afford it it's not into them but you cannot afford it and you want to be like them eh, my own a different na, na different word I come you don't know Please lift up your hand. Pray with me. Say in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. And I give you praise for my life. Thank you for tonight. Lord, you said the yoke shall be destroyed now by the anointing Lord tonight I confront the yoke of poverty and indebtedness Lord in any way this spirit is transferred into my life as a result of my background my upbringing my exposure tonight you spirit of poverty indebtedness I transfer you out of my life in the name of Jesus I destroy the altar that sponsors the spirit, the yoke of poverty. Now, open your eyes and look at me. Poverty is a terrible disease. It's a cause. Poverty is a cause. I, I need to put it in that way so that you you can pray where you know what to do and you cannot do it you know what to buy what fits you you can't you know what this child deserves but you can't you know that the best thing you can do is to take your child to a good school but you can't why poverty You know when the yoke of poverty is on a person, you may have a certificate and move and write application to 200 places, nobody will employ you. When the yoke of poverty is upon a man, whatever you lay your hand dies, dies as you put it. Your seed dies in the ground. It does not germinate. Talk less, talk more of producing. The Bible 
Bible says that the neighbors of the poor man, they even hate him. Poverty generates hatred. People try to distance themselves from you because they know that anytime they come in contact with you, you're always making a demand. Your own is to collect. So whether it is transferred, it's running in the bloodline, fight it. Somebody say, fight it. Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. I know some of you have not experienced serious poverty. Where you soak gare, you soak it, allow it to be well soaked. When a man mix hot water, divide small gesha into three and use the one third, put hot water and add little salt, turn it into soup. No, what I'm telling you is not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to frame it because you, you, you just see me. You don't know where I'm coming from. I've been on a long journey and use it to swallow. Then keep the other one. Not in the fridge, God has none. Then use it to the other one to swallow. When a man eats a bar in the morning, afternoon, and night, morning, afternoon, and night, seven days a week, and 30 days in a month, something is wrong. And the bar is without. It was kubia fish I went to buy at second in secular market that they carried my bicycle. Tika, you think I've forgotten? If I had money to pay them at once without pricing seven places. Say in the name of Jesus. I am angry in my spirit by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I destroy the altar of poverty. I crush the spirit of poverty. I break the yoke of poverty in my life right now as I pray and clap my hands. I destroy you. I destroy you. Lancote, Kotika, Kakula, Kode. Ah, Yalaka, Yakaria, Reboro, Yalaka, Scaliaros. Ayala kara kere gari yala kaya la bala bade de nai la bula bula bude gada bada mai na gada bole na gada bula na mada gada gendere bodo bus in the name of Jesus kai la kasula ndere broda gas. I want us to listen. I I mean what I'm saying, and I am saying what I mean. I want us to destroy this yoke of indebtedness, this boroboro spirit. I want us to destroy this this spirit of buying on credit and paying small small. I want us to destroy it. Uh, just give me five cups of rice. Just give me. I'm expecting money next tomorrow. It's, but you are owing me five thousand. Is there? I, I know. Have I not been paying you? Just give me.